when my colleagues and I took over, we realized that any time there is election, we were too late to operationalize our security arrangement and go about setting up National Election Security Task Force and all that, so close to the election. So there are always issues. So we committed ourselves to mainstreaming election security in all our I mean, police operations. So the first thing we did was to establish what we call Police Election Security Secretariat to be involved and streamline election security across the police so that when one election ends, the policing of the next election begins immediately. So this has been the template that my colleagues and I have been using in handling all subsequent elections since I assume office. And we've done that for the internal elections of all the political parties, and we have also used the same blueprint to handle all violations. But this is the fundamental point. In the past, realize that all violations from Talensi through Chiriponi to Atiwa to Ayawaso and other places, normally do turn violence. So we decided, as a team, to interrogate the issue and find out what is causing it. And realized that we're making a mistake from the security point of view. Because when the political parties are treating that by-election as a national election in a single constituency, we were treating it as a local election and then allowing, relaxing on the security and leaving it in the hands of the local policing authority. Why is we have everybody in Ghana at that location taking one, I mean, playing one, one part or the other in that election? So we resolved that if the political parties and the other stakeholders involved in these by elections, if they decide to play it local, we, the police, will play it local. If they decide to play it district, we, the police, will break this street. That means that it's a fair match. If they decide to play it regional, we, the police, will play it regional. But if they decide to consider the election as a national one, then we, the police, the policing too will be national. And I know this is also not tenable. And on a lighter side, if they decide to play it international, we also will do it international. So it is that that inform the deployment. Because the whole Ghana, it's at that constituency. So the whole police must also be at that constituency. And that is what has helped us. That's all the violations that have been done using this model has not resulted in any violence. And that's why I want to end it. I thank you, Honorable Chair.